And there are some crazy, crazy upsets. We're about to get into one of them right now, which is Armadillo and Glutiny. Spoilers, Armadillo actually ended up beating Glutiny. During Kawaii Con, I told Tweak because I had been like checking like like the results, like of what have ha what what have been happening, and I told Tweak that Armadillo beat Glutiny. And Tweak's reaction was this: "All right, it was broken. I've been telling people." That's, that's literally his reaction. He's just like, "I just broke it, and no one sees it but me." And Gluto just fishing for Nair because Nair is one of Wario's best combo starters. Also, I feel like he's kind of just like tr seeing how Armadillo deals with it, so it's like he's he's kind of matchup checking him in a sense. So this is the scary thing about this matchup right now because Gluto doesn't have Waft. Um, Armadillo has a lot of aura thanks to like the early percent sequences that Gluto has, and just like that, it's like roughly even. In fact. I would say this is kind of Armadillo's favor. Armadillo is trying to use the bike too. This should be a stock, right? Yep, just like I said, Aura Sphere Charge into back air. That is true. And the first stock going to Armadillo. But I'm assuming Bluto is going to save the waft for second, maybe even the final stock. Because there's not really a point in using it on the first stock here. I told might do it here. Oh, that was a miss. That was a big miss input right here. So right here. That was definitely supposed to be B reverse bite, but he accidentally misinput side B, so he got that. Doesn't matter though. Still works out. He gets the back air punish. Takes the stock. Alright, is he gonna waft here? No, saves it. Oh, here it is? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I'm assuming he just didn't he either didn't waft because he didn't know if it was gonna take the stock or not. Maybe he felt like he kind of messed up the combo and that he would he would not get like a True confirm the waft. This is also good for Gluto too because he still has the potential to get waft on his final stock. Or even if he loses his, his second stock, waft's gonna be on the table. It's still scary though, you don't want to face Lucario in last hit situations like this. What makes Lucario so frightening is that if he's on his final stock at high percent and you're on your final stock at like 40, it's like last hit. It's I'm not even joking. Like that's a last hit situation for Lucario. That should do it, right? Yeah. Game one going to Gluto. Armadillo fishing for back air right now. This back air will easily take the stock. There's an Orchestra setup. Shoot it. Yep, there it is. That is such a strong ledge trapping option. You can't even just hang at ledge. Like, if Carbo has enough aura, he can shoot the aura sphere and it'll hit below ledge. Even just hanging there is, is not a good option. Like, at some point, you have to get up and you have to guess, and you just have to hope that you guess right or that Lucario is not reacting to what your get up option is. Oh, that's so smart. Gluto's so good at doing this. And I like other top wire players too. But what he does there is he he like makes the bike go back so that it makes it harder for you to hit him out of it. It shifts the hurt box of him. Armadillo hit the bike but not Glutiny, so Gluto was able to avoid that hit, which would have taken the sock for sure. Oh good a good jump from Gluto to avoid that, but gets his stock taken by four tilt. And look at look at Gluto's face. He reels back. He's like, whoa, that killed me? Look, he's like, what? Cario with aura. Basically anything kills. That's the thing. Once you reach a certain percent, anything will take your stock. Oh, this is scary. This is very scary. This is kind of scary for both of them, honestly. Like if Gluto takes Armadillo's second stock, he has Waft on the table. Also, let me see here. I'm surprised Armadillo wasn't pre prepped. He jumped there. I wonder what happened. I think maybe he 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 thought he would have more time to set up into something because he fully charged Zora, I believe. Yeah, he fully charged it. Wow, that was so good. What a read. Ooh, it's back air. That's this is scary now. Yeah, at ledge, I'm pretty sure back air is gonna close out the stock. That's so good. I believe the way Lucario's recovery works is that when he bounces like this, he like instantly like has no lag when he lands. And then if he does extreme speed, but he like uh, just lands normally, there's like a slight amount of lag. So if you see Lucario doing this, they're gimmicking you. They want you to think you could punish them, and then you just don't, and you get punished for it. That yeah, that's so good. Like the fact that he was just able to to get that from 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 a ledge roll. He just ledge rolled, and I guess just able to get a punish off of that. 
Okay, is Gluto gonna use Waft this stock? He does have fully charged Waft on the table. I don't think, yeah, yeah, definitely not anymore. Definitely not anymore. So that's a final stock thing. Is he dead? So I believe what happened is that Armadillo messed up. He got jab two and he wanted to do two jab ones uh, out of the jab lock. So because he got jab two, I think that made the down smash untrue. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, that's so crazy. 104 center stage just obliterated. That's the thing. When Lucario has aura, you have to deal with his side B from far away. It becomes a much threatening move that he can that he can harass with. Like not not just not just as a command grab, but like yeah, you you could just shoot it out. That was a good two frame. All right, this is a great spot for Gluto. All he needs is one solid waft confirm. Oh, that was so close. Gluto wanted the double landing up air right here. He, he wanted to slightly delay it and hope he could get, get it to combo. Wow, he jumped, right? Oh no, he air dodged. That was so weird looking. So his air dodge made his feet like pull up. That's so funny. Okay, I, I want to say Gluto's still not at kill percent just yet. Maybe near ledge. Oh, that might be it. No, not able to get a combo off of that. Or Waft con confirm, I should say. And now Gluto's at kill percent to bear. Oh, no, that's so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate for Gluto. But that was like also a huge misplay on Gluto's part. This seemed like one of those options he was going to do no matter what. So I think Glutony thought he had more time to punish this. And this looked like a misinput on on Armadillo's part, funny enough. Like, he he dash attacked. Game three going to Armadillo. The jump read on the back air still not enough. Oh, but counters and is able to take the sock through counter. That's so good. Oh, no, he didn't beat Mia. He almost beat Mia. Oh, he's gone, right? No, that's so good, though. Was it, this is all real, right? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's so strong, too, because downer is like very quick for Lucario. And Armadillo is spamming F tilt. He wants that stock, gets the command grab. Three stocks to one. You don't want to be in this position at like against Lucario. Honestly, you don't want to be in the opposite position against Lucario sometimes, because then he just is uber powerful. But this is uh, rough. The only fortunate thing about this is because Lucario, like if he takes the stock, they yeah, took the stock. Because Lucario has a lead, his aura shouldn't be that strong. That's like the only benefit to being in this position against Lucario. Okay, this should be off combo, right? No, he drops it. Oh, that might do it? Oh, really? I'm surprised. Okay, so right here, this was nice. I'm surprised Glutony didn't hit a landing up air, but I think at this point, because of the percentage, he probably is going to save Waft for the final stock. He probably thinks that he'd rather close out the, the, the match with Waft. My only guess as to why he didn't pull the trigger with lining up air there. Oh, is he? He's gone. Wow, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. But he hits him with a tiny aura sphere. And then Gluto A lands. The funny thing about this position, I feel like Armadillo only threw this out because he thought that Glutony was going to be put in like a tech chase situation. So he just tried to cover the uh, the get up option. But Gluto A land and immediately picked an aggressive option and he suffered for it. Also, I need to say something. I need to I need to tell you guys something that happened. Echo Icon. I don't I, I still don't know who did this. Someone bought Uber Eats. It was sent to me in my name. So someone just bought me a hundred dollars worth of food. I still don't know who it was. All right, anyways, anyways. Horigigi, or Geary versus MK Leo. I didn't see it. I know what happened. I'm sure most of you know what happened. This is probably the, the thing that a lot of people talked or that most people talked about at this event. The Banjo Extraordinaire. So the thing about this too is that if you're if you're outside of Japan, you're probably going to be at a disadvantage versus Torigiri. Like, who knows how to fight Banjo at a top level, right? There, there are there are literally no Banjo players even close to his level. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where you're just gonna get hard matchup checked. Nice. 
Yeah, that's that's just a true confirm. I think Torigiri had like a really good shot of winning this event just off the sheer fact that if he didn't run to run into any Japanese players, he could have just hard and active checked everyone. I'm sure everyone at the event did not want to play him because they're like, how like I don't know how to fight this character. Who knows how to like fight Banjo at a top level? Like only Japanese players. I hope he comes to more events. Oh, Downtown's gonna take it. And this should be Oh, okay. That's that was a flex. He didn't even have to do that. Like, look at it. Okay, like Torigiri is so confident. He's like, I'm going to two frame you. I'm gonna I'm going to time this perfectly. I know how to hit these. And yeah, he just in with a two frame. He legit could have just gone off stage, done like a back air or forward air. It probably would have been easier. But uh confidence. That's not it. Nah, I was gonna say maybe Leo should have done like back air, but yeah. Instead of up smash, probably could have gone for upper drag down. Oh, that miss? That sucks. Also, I want to say. Oh, <laughs> wait, hold on. Let me let me let me see this. Let me see this. That's disgusting. That covered everything. That covered literally everything. This was so good from Tori Giri because the grenade, the grenade right here, covered him. Like it, it, it helped cover like whatever Leo would have done to punish him. The signs of a character specialist. He just knows. Like, look at that. The only thing Leo could have done is like waited, waited for the grenade to hit him and then like punish him that way. But again, it's it's one of those things where you're not finding this matchup at a top level very often. So it's just not in Leo's mind. It's not his muscle memory to go for that. I feel like MK Leo has had But that's disgusting. Like legit. Everything was covered. And shows how seasoned that he is with this character. And I love that every time they come back with Wonder Woman. No. That wasn't real. That wasn't real. That wasn't real. He just said, you're not ready. He got hit at 64. It's nice to see that they're coming out and that MK Leo no, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I want to say that's real, right? I, I feel like that's real. I think, I think he, he did the KFC there and he hit this, this Wonder Wing. Oh, he just tried to raw up. So he, he tried to read Leo jump, jumping towards him. He kind of did, honestly. He just did it too slow. Good they are at converting when they find that hit. Dude, that's so... Okay, hold on. Let's talk about this. So, he does this. He rolls in. The thing is, Leo read... He tried to read that too, but... Uh, Torigiri rolled as he was landing. So, this wasn't... This was just wasn't going to hit. No, Like, no matter what Leo threw out there, it wasn't going to hit. And then he dashes. I think right here... I think in this spot, Leo was anticipating that Torigiri would spot dodge. But instead, he just abuses Banjo's good dash and ground speed to just get out of there. And knows these combos like the back of his hand. It's really impressive. He does down, down tilt. Potentially missing a I wonder if that was a miss input or not. I want to say that was, right? Although I don't I don't think he would have even lost the stock. Are he yeah, I don't think he would have died to that. That was smart. A smart Rebels guard. He's gonna get our send back soon there it is gets a spot dodge. even with the parry just not fast enough this is scary try to hit him with another one wing oh my god that would have been highway robbery so the only reason why this didn't work is that he probably assumed but banjo has intangibility when he up bees he needs some sort of dlc right that 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 is that is his dlc property i guess he gets intangibility if that hit though that would have been game leo would have stolen game two wow just anti-airs him again with the up tilt this hits so high that hits so high look at this that's nuts Oh, I think if he jumped, he had he had the hit there. Dude, he's so confident in the two frame, and then that combo, and just like this, he's still going to. Oh my god, he if he charged, that would have hit. Oh, that was nice. I feel like instead of gun, he should have done like, like an aerial. But maybe he wasn't expecting Torigiri to be like be that close to him. That's a stock, right? Yeah, that's so good. The thing is, too, is he could have he could have done up tilt. So right here, he could have done up tilt to like cover the get up option. 
but he goes for Wonder Wing because it covers everything. That's why he went for Wonder Wing. It just covers every get up option that Leo would have picked. I don't know why, but like, that combo looks really cool. I actually like that combo from Banjo. Oh, it goes for the up to, that's it, right? No, oh, that, that is, what? So in that spot, Leo could have double jumped to survive. I think that's the only way he could have, he could have survived is double jumping because it kind of halts your, your momentum going, going out, but he didn't have his double jump. So he couldn't save himself that way. So he was just relying on drifting in and it just wasn't enough. Leo lost, but I'm still confident if Torigiri played just about anyone at this tournament that wasn't Japanese, he probably would have beat them. Like I, I I don't I don't think anyone was ready to fight against his banjo. Even now, like I feel like if he if he, if he goes to another super major in uh like outside of Japan, he's just gonna cook everyone. Like no one's ready for this. No one, no one's ready for this, except Randy Spargo. That's the only one. And even then it's like a question mark. You're fighting an amazing player and then you're playing a character that no one knows how to fight. Like it's just, it's just rough. Yeah, crazy. Now let's get into Dimitri versus Tilde. The last battle of BC, I actually housed with Dimitri and I got to play him quite a bit. He's really good. He also beat Mr. R last battle of BC. So this matchup is very obviously in Falco's favor. This matchup is in Falco's favor. That being said, if you don't know how to fight Piranha Plant, you can definitely get a hard matchup checked. And I'm actually curious to see how how like how much Tilde knows about this matchup because you can get hard matchup checked. So this right here, Tilde could have punished this, but he anticipated that the, the move had less lag than it does. Like that should have been an easy with punish. But instead, Tilde tries to read a spot dodge when he had a guaranteed punish, and this doesn't work. Well, he read the spot dodge. He read did read the spot dodge, but because it was lagger than he thought, he just it just didn't work. So yeah, like I, I think Tilde overcomplicated it. Like he legit just had like a guaranteed punish. Okay, that was a good punish. Yeah, that move is very punishable. Oh. Oh, okay, so that's something else I want to point out. If you're going to edge guard Piranha Plant, even like in most cases, if you're gonna go out for an edge guard, like for well with the dare as Falco, instead of doing this kind of dare, what you want to do is face towards the stage and then do a dare that way. Because then it's just easier. You 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 cover the stage. A lot more easier because your foot's going to be like it's, it's going to be uh touching the wall of of the uh stage so it's just easier to get the edge guard oh okay so this spot what you want to do instead of going for laser here all you do is run under run under piranha plant like when he's tilting just run down double jump and then you can hit him for that like this this shouldn't work if, if you see plant doing this 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 should be an edge guard oh yeah that's the other thing so this move when you see Plant doing this, they're hoping that you're just not prepared because this actually has a lot of, it has very little in lag on it. It's one of the least laggiest up Bs in the entire game. What? What? <laughs> Bro, what did he do? I like to think that when, they, that when this happened, you just hear something like, your discretion is advised. Ugh, and then that happens. That doesn't work. Yeah, so Plant's laying down. So because he's laying down, he low profiles under the up smash and just whiffed. Again, he tried it again, but because Plant lays down when he dash attacks, it just it just doesn't work. Oh, nice roll punish there. What was that? What? Yeah, this capture card going, is going crazy. Why do you reflect here? Yeah, uh, again, he doesn't, he just, Tilde doesn't know how to deal with this move. And that's the thing, Dimitri, if he knows you don't know how to deal with it, he's gonna spam it. That's, that's, that's just a Piranha Plant thing in general. Like if you, if they know you don't know, they're just going to matchup check you with it. Tilde, yeah, Tilde's just gonna let him come back. He doesn't know, he doesn't know that you just, you just literally, you just face inside and you can dare, dare it. 
and up throw one of the strongest up throws in the entire game takes a stock is it the strongest actually i don't know good combo and then do down b right oh no just gonna play it safe recover okay he did it okay he did it he just missed time the downer so he didn't get the spike but we might see totally go for it more this set but that is how you edge guard that up b Wow. Why did Tilde go for this? I, f I think Tilde was hoping that Dimitri would jump, but that was still a very uh, desperate option for him to pick. Instead, Dimitri up smashes himself and... Oh, board smash. Oh, actually did the one, two, three, I want to say. That's a stock. What happened here? Oh, he... He tried to like drift left and then shield, but accidentally directional air dodge is off stage. Yeah, that was a very greedy uh, downbeat from Dimitri. Probably was hoping until they would jump, but even then, it's like the risk reward for doing that, not very good. That was very risky on Tilde's part. I think this is also, Dimitri probably doesn't know how laggy that is either, so. But that's very punishable, the option that Tilly picked. You never want to, like, try to do that against Piranha Plant. Because even if, like, if they ever throw it, it's never going to hit them unless they jump. Oh, he went for the Trump. Okay. So right here, he has the dare, but he goes for the Trump. I'm assuming that he just... Wanted to do Trump Bear, but definitely overcomplicating things. This should have been like an easy downer edge guard. Nothing that Dimitri could have done there. I want to say up throw will take the stock here if he grabs him. He'll for sure take it here now. Down smash, no. Nothing. Dash attack. Oh, that's a gimmick. So, I don't know why Dimitri did this, but this should have been a punish. But because Tilde thought that what he was doing was like very threatening, but it actually wasn't. This was just like a bad misplay on Dimitri's part. And yeah, he doesn't get punished. He tries to side BM and then he gets grabbed and loses his stock. Oh, he missed that. That could have been like a lot of damage. Cause you could do like up air into Batui into another up air into another Batui or like double Batui. Tries the side B. I, I do this all the time, so I know why he did it. It's just like you're trying to like get rid of the, the invincibility from the, the spawn, and then he just side B's right into it. Okay, solid combo. Yeah, okay. That time Dim Dimitri punished it. Like I said, you don't want to do this. This is not a good option to do S Falco. If Dimitri read this a little bit sooner, he could have up smashed it into the game. Maybe he still could have done it, actually. Nair. Oh, that could have been game. He could have snared here. Dimitri could have. Like, right here. In this spot, you just nair, and that's game. Oh. No way! Dude. <laughs> He's getting gimmick so hard. He's getting gimmick so hard. The the crazy thing about that is that option that Dimitri did, he should have gotten punished for and lost his sock for it. Again, all you do, if you see plan in the spot, you run off stage, you go below him, and then you just double jump into an aerial. And yeah, he just got hard gimmicked. You could definitely tell he just doesn't know the matchup at all. Or not not at all, but he doesn't know like he doesn't know the gimmicks. Yeah, like if you know someone doesn't know doesn't know certain gimmicks, you're just gonna keep abusing them until they actually prove to you that they know what they're doing. And that's exactly what Dimitri's doing. He's like, you know how to deal with this? Oh, you don't? Okay, I'm gonna keep doing this until you prove to me that you know how to do do something against it. And Hilde just is not proving that to Dimitri, so doing it. But regardless of that, Tilde takes the first stock of game three. Oh yeah, that's gonna take it. That move is really strong. Yeah, Tilde again just not showing he knows what to do in this in that situation. That's a lot of damage. Look, look at this. He's at 110. He reflected it. He didn't even get hit by the full thing, but it did it did 22% on him. This just for him passing through it. That move does so much passive damage. 
get up smash. But, oh, and then the other thing is, you know, Reflector multiplies it, so. Okay. Rolls? Okay, that was good. That was a really good roll from Tilde. Able to get the punish there. How to use bear for plant? I mean, oh, almost got the sock there. I mean, bear's not really a move you should be just... That poke? But yeah, plant bear's not a move you should just be throwing out. Because it's like pretty... It's pretty unsafe. I don't think it's very good at low percent. But a high percent. This must have poked, right? That will poked. Yeah, it poked. Or maybe he jumped. Either way. Till they take in game three. Ball two stock. Not again. I swear, if someone loses the stock... Okay. Oh, that, that yeah, that's the other thing about that move. It does so much shield damage, so it can break shields. There, you're, you're gone. So, they buffed that move in one of the patch updates, so it's a surprisingly strong kill move. And it also has intangibility on plant's head, so he can juggle you, juggle you pretty well. Good back here. The, the other thing, too, is up tilt. All of, all of Plant's up moves, like, all of his up A moves, have intangibility. So you can't... He's actually a surprisingly strong anti-airing character for that reason. He can anti-air you with up tilt, anti-air you with up air, anti-air you with up smash. Bro. Like, what do you, what, how did he get in that position? What happened? What? How did that happen? I didn't even know that was a thing. He threw it. Like, that was the animation that he threw it. But it just it just dropped. No! <laughs> I'm so surprised Tilde didn't, like, try to hit him. He could have He could have hit him there. I know you see the down B. The thing about Plant's down B is that the super armor actually is later than you think it is. Or, sorry, the damage-based armor is, is later than you think it is. So he could have could have gotten another hit. Probably could have up tilted or down tilted from that spot. Like the, the rage you're giving him is just gonna help help up throw to close it out for him. Doesn't go for the sp oh he went for the spike but on stage. Miss missed his combo out of up tilt. I feel like with the amount of rage that Dimitri has up throw probably kills. I don't think it did before, but I think it does now. Okay. Up throw for short kill. So does up tilt. He's fishing for the grab, and you know why, because if he gets it, it's game, that's game. Up air, takes it for Dimitri. Yeah, another upset. That's crazy. The funny thing is, too, all these upsets are with characters that people believe are low tier. I'm saying believe because there's some people that, you know, there's some believers out there, like Tweet, that thinks Lucario's not bad. Probably someone out there that believes that Banjo's not bad. Probably Tweak again. <laughs> but yeah, 